hello, hello, hello. Welcome to another episode of M&A Mystery Tours. Now we're at the, um, what cemetery was that? St. Jude's. St. Jude's Cemetery. Now we're going to go over and check things out here and see uh, what we can pick up. Let's go. And who do we have? Oh look, we have Annette. Hi everyone. Just want to give my three beautiful grandchildren a big shout out and say hello to Jasmine, Azalea and Caitlin. Love you girls. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Um, okay. I don't know where to start. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Fireplace. Okay. Now I've been here before, guys. Um, it's I've been here at night time, but I haven't been here during the day. So we've actually made it down this way, down this side of town. And yeah, it's a bit of a walk, as you can see and we'll um, see what we can uh, pick up so yeah hello to all the spirits here my name is mark and when i leave from here today you must stay here in your resting place do i make myself clear so yeah say hello to all the spirits now I'm going to do a S-Box session and see what we can pick, pick up. S-Box. Scanning. FM. Amazing. Spirits here like to come and say hello. Well, we have uh, MX nineteen eighty five zero eight Captain. G M O N R O Army something called <laughs> Second October nineteen fifteen to age thirty three years. Thank you for your service. I know I didn't read that properly, sorry. Run. Run? Why? I need to run. That's right. That's right. <laughs> run. That's right. There's a little boy somewhere around. to bring it to you.
Okay, my loving memory of Elizabeth Hanna, dearly beloved wife of John H. Yates, Yates died at Glenelg, March 26, 1919, aged 67 years, 10 months at rest. John Henry Yates, beloved husband of above, died October 3, 1923, Aged 73 years and 10 months. Rest in peace. Oh. Hey, any spirits here? Want to have, have a chat? Agreed. Agreed. Okay. Yep, and if you're wondering what all that racket and noise is, it's just this S box here, guys. Love. Yeah. Someone's actually put in a uh, a glass flower in there. Wow. How cool is that? <laughs> All right. Any spirits here spoken through me through the yes box? Just want to say thank you. See what uh, what can we do? Walter Elsway Ruglas, beloved husband of Isabel, died the seventh of November, nineteen forty-six. Also, Isabella died, nineteen sixty-two, aged seventy years. Rest in peace. They're here. Who's here? There's lots of resting places that are here. That's a lot of headstones in one place. Wow. Different. <laughs> Now that's a completely different headstone. In the memory of Charles Whitehead, died July 22nd, 1901, aged 74 years at rest. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Well, how cool.
coot. Hey, coot. Neil. Neil. For Neil. It'll hurt my kneecaps. For Neil. I reckon that would have to be awesome to live right next door to a cemetery. How would you feel <laughs> to live right next door to a cemetery? I reckon it would be the most safest place you'd ever be is to live right next to a cemetery. Time. That's a nice uh, cross. And time is 203. That's the time. And it looks like over in that section over there is the more newer ones. So hey, I don't want to go over there. That's more the newer cemetery, uh, a newer resting place that I do like. Why are you here? I'm here to say hello. Is that okay? Any spirits here like to come and say hello? Quite different. <laughs> the loving memory of William James McKim, late sixteen, bat A I F, beloved husband of Beatrice McKim, uh, who passed away peacefully at Glenelg. November 12th, 1925, age 38 years. Another one at Glenelg. Where was Please come one? back. Where was the other one? Another one that, that I read was at Glenelg. <laughs> hmm. 
haven't been down this section down this way poisoned poisoned was someone here poisoned someone here in the resting place when you were alive were you poisoned you drank poison or you eat poison that maybe it was in the food or fluids Hello? Martha. Hello? I thought I heard someone. Okay. And here's another one of my roses. And lots of ants. I wonder what's caused all the ants. Want. Carter. In the loving memory of John Gray, passed away 19th January 2000, aged 77 years. Dearly loved husband Isla Adelaide, passed away 3rd of January 2021. So this is a more modern one, guys age 97 years beloved wife of John for 56 years loving father and mother of Raymond Neville and Suzanne so dearly loved so dearly missed rest in peace and thank you for your service so that one there was a more recent recent one those ones there or new Door. ones I prefer to read like just read and that's it with the new ones you just read them and move on A recent looks like a recent photo down there, but I won't get that. Legs playing up. Great. I might have a sit down. Can you feel me? Can I feel you? Oh, probably not. Now we do an S box session again, guys. And say hello you can talk through this it's called an s -box. it gives you a voice to come through if you want to damage there's a few headstones that have been damaged 
which is not very nice, is it? Okay, for a bit of a wonder. Mad. There's three. Three. So there's three of the others. Okay. What do I do? Spirits have spoken through the S box. Thank you. I'm going to turn this one on in the S box session. And let's go for a bit more of a, of a, a wonder. <laughs> I'm getting tongue tied. Over this side here. Um, oh, I'm glad the warm weather's coming up now. The, the warmer weather, I can smell spring. Goodbye. Goodbye already. Mother Mary, I like those big statues like that. Wow, actual black one guys a black cross wow how cool is that open I can't open it <laughs> Frank Carl Carell beloved husband of Alice Carell 4th of July 1865, 10th of May 1925, Alice
Tyrell, a loved wife of above. 24th of September 1864. 19th of September 1934. Well, rest in peace. Yeah, there's some really cool headstones. We'll just walk and then come across some ones to read. How's that? <laughs> Edith Mary, dearly beloved wife of James Sutherland, died 27 Children. January 1942 at rest. Ian M. Sutherland. 7th of the 10th 1943, 15th of the 4th uh, 2024. I fixed things. Okay. <laughs> Maybe he was. He fixed anything and anything. Maybe. Photo. photo. There was a photo over. Yes, there was a photo, so you're correct. Greetings. There was a photo over at just another resting place that I walked past before. And yeah. So, yes photo. There was a photo. Undecided. Yeah, undecided. Okay. Lucky last. And here we have S two twelve zero twenty three Captain D L Van Sedan or S E N Sent Sedan Labour Service. 20th November 1959, aged 67 years. Thank you for your service. It was a labourer, a labourer service. Thank you for your service. Rest in peace. Ooh. I'm nearly falling over. Right <laughs> what do you want? I'm here just to say hello. Nothing else. So, hello to all the spirits here. Hello, hello, hello. Now, if you can hear background noises or anything out there, guys, there is a an oval just over there, football label, so someone's probably playing football over there, so if you can hear all that background front and, you know, noises, be the kids screaming out and stuff. It's dark. It's dark. Um, Sorry to hear that. I wish I could put that light in the subject. Actually, 
you can come out from the dark and head into the nice beautiful light if it's dark on your end you've got to do most of the work though that's the thing Afternoon. <laughs> Danger. Danger. No, no danger. Loving memory of Sean. Frank born Hampton, England. Oh, 27th of November, 1837. Died Springfield, Mitcham, 26th of May, 1915. And also Annie, his wife, born 4th of August, 1846. Died 25th of September, 1930. That's right there. Well, there we go, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment, share. Please share out our videos because it really does help us out if you do share our videos out there and try and get them out there because um, it does help us out a lot so yeah so thank you um, I hope you enjoyed enjoyed this one and we shall catch you later on ciao for now guys Whoosh.